Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chagnot. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. And today I'm going to perform a live demonstration of Katia 3D Experience Release 19X on cloud. And today's video will be about uh, Katia live rendering application on the 3D Experience. And I will show you how we can import and apply a substance material on the part. Uh, substance material come from Allegro Atomic Company and there is a special procedure to import it, so I will just show it to you in the application. Okay, and first of all, I will just start by making a basic part that I want to, uh, I think I'm going to make a pipe, so let's pipe substance. And I'm going to make a very basic uh, pipe uh, just to show you how we can do it. Uh, maybe something like that and we can even do in general shape design you can go to uh, sweep and maybe we do a small variation in the in the diameter so you go to uh, center and radius this one is very easy you have 20 millimeter as a radius okay you have the pipe but maybe we can go in low and just change to a S type. Let's say that I want to start by 10 and finish by 30. Uh, you have linear, ACE. Uh, this one go, give a slightly curve. Preview, okay. Well, it's more like a horn, but it's, it's okay for the video I'm going to do. Uh, we are on the shading material. Uh, we'll take shading with edges. And here, this is what we have, okay? So, that's the part. Uh, I can save it. Okay, now it's saved in the platform and now I will switch to live rendering. Okay, we just need to be back on the 3D part here. So here it says, well, your computer is okay for the, for the rendering application, so that's okay. It just hide the tree, so you can click on F3 to show it again. Uh, just the reason is because they want to give you the best uh, visualization of your part and also put automatically the shading mode again uh, so we can go back to shading with ages and now we have live rendering here uh, you have for the material you have a material palette that's the list of all the material I have in my tree experience or you have create uh, appearance that are from substance okay and if you if you click here then you can just import a file directly uh, from the substance uh, material okay I'm going to show you how we can get this so you have two websites to check you have substance source and substance share okay so substance source is directly from uh, algorithmic company uh, and they provide materials so you can pay for it you also have free assets directly uh, so there we can just download this one if you want and you have substance share where it's more like a, uh, a Platform where people can make their own creation and share it uh, uh, To everyone. Uh, so if you go to materials, then you also have a lot here. So I will in, I will you know what get uh, material from substance source since it's already them that make them and let's pick up for example this one Okay, you can download it for free and now it's on, so I can just go show in folder. I guess it goes to my download here. And I will just select the button here. Let's go to download and here, here you have it. Granite gray blue. So here it's all the option you get it. Okay, you also have the, the color or like the podium of this uh, part and it will be creating as a covering and be careful to remain to put a title on that so blue i think it's gray blue granite gray blue yes granite okay well uh click on okay here is going to be implemented into uh the list. Uh, so if it's not here, sometime it can be in my recent content. Uh, where it is my content? And here you have the recent content. 
show all. Okay, so that's the new part I created. Uh, otherwise, you can also check on the material definition and you might have the material. Here it is, gray, blue, granite. So you can just uh, Okay, you have the properties here. Maybe we can just pick material and put it straight to the part. Here it is. Okay. Let's look at it if we do a view. Okay, and well, it's not easy to see. But here you have a small issue. And if you zoom very much, uh, you have these lines here. And the reason why is because it's not, uh, it's in the UV uh, mode or not in the UV, it's in the cubicle mode, I mean. Okay, so you can edit that. And here you have parameters, so it's very nice what you can do. Uh, here you see it's pretty big, but you can just improve uh, the amount of uh, of the quality you want. So let's put it to the max. It might take re more resources, but look at this quality here. It's pretty nice when you look it a bit from this distance. It's really nice. You can also try different value or roughness of the... You can even change some, maybe some part in here. So I, I'm just going to show you the most important of this video is the UV mode. So you see, if I put geometry UV, it's not going to work. It's going to be fully gray. So the reason why is because you need to create the UV parametrization. Okay, so I just, how we can do that? First of all, we need to go back to Generative Shape Design and we are going to be back to the uh, shading with edges. And here we can see Okay, if I go back to live rendering, you have the feature just here. Surface unwrap. Uh, it will ask me a surface and a line, and we haven't made this line yet. So I'm going back to generative shape design, and what you can do is just by clicking on the extract here. So here it will not work because you need a line. So we can just create the line. And let's do intersection of this surface with the plane. Preview, it will make two lines, one on the bottom, one on top. And you can just select, keep the one with using an extract and you want the one in the bottom because we don't want to see it. Click on okay, and now you need to select the, the elements. Okay, here it is. So what we have here is we have now an extract and a surface. And now we can go back to the un unwrap mode and it's here. So you select the part, of course, it's the 3D shape we have here. What is the surface to unfold? That's the sweep. And what is the curve to tear? That's the extract we just did. Click on OK. You don't see that much right now, but I'm going to hide that. It looks exactly the same, except that when I will put the material, it will look much better. So. One thing is, if you do that, I don't think it will, will work. Oh, yes. No, it does not work. Immediately, you need to apply the material to the UV parameterization. Okay, going back to shading mode. And I'm wondering if I can replace that. No. Uh, you know what's easier? Can I just do pick and put straight here. So instead of putting in a part, I will just put it on the UV here. Okay, and I will now delete the one I did in first. Okay, now you can see in the comma that you have UV parameterization, and that's what we want. Let's look at it now with a better rendering material. And here we still have the curve to tear. Yes, it's because we need to change this to UV now. 
OK, edit the material here, and you will see the change. Going down, or oh, substance maybe. And here I will switch to geometry UV. And now it, it gives exactly what we wanted because you don't have this problem anymore with the line. Of course, you still have this line here that will be cut, but well, if you take the picture from the top here, you don't have this line. You might have it on the bottom, but you will probably not see that much. And of course, you can change the dimension if you're smaller or bigger whatsoever. Let's just have a nice view of that. So we can, of course, put some uh, better lightning because this is just white. Go to manage ambience. Uh, I already imported some HDRI, but I'm going to select some. Yeah, I, th that could do it. You can always change. Um, what I like the most is, of course, here I could just select an ambience and twist it to make it nice. But what I like to do is actually just to put a white backplate. Uh, because often if you use like Photoshop or things like that, ooh, I like this one. If you use Photoshop, it's easy to just uh, remove the white. So here it is. And you can just hide this you can uh, just do a quick, a better, like if you're on 35 millimeter, like camera, you can also change a bit the focus. I'm not an expert in photography though, so I will just, and here we, here we have it. You also have like a quick uh, live rendering, just quickly to say, oh, it will look like that. Uh, or you can just, well, actually it's not that bad. I'm pretty surprised that on the live, uh, my laptop, I precise that I have a laptop, um, can manage to do my rendering here. Uh, but of course, live rendering takes always a bit more uh, resources of your computer. So I will just launch uh, render and well set up the background render. Uh, that sounds good for the size, uh, JPEG, high quality, and here, yeah. So I'm probably not going to speak while it's rendering, so let's just click on the button and see the result at the end, okay? Okay, so the picture is over. I think it took about five minutes to do it. I will verify in the video. Uh, let's do open. Okay, and let's look at the result. So it's actually not that bad for a five minute shot, but as you can see, there is a lot of grain in the bottom. So it would need, uh, we need a better quality when I do the render. So this I can improve by redoing the render and put a longer time because maybe five minutes was not enough for the calculation. But at least uh, I've shown you how to create a uh, uh, part with a rendering and especially how we can import a substance material. And these materials are really nice. I really recommend you to try it. And especially because it's free assets. If you want to purchase them, there is no problem. But uh, the, this is pretty good for, uh, for rendering, I would say. So thank you very much for watching this video. Do not hesitate to visit our website, www.lmtechnology.com. And please continue commenting, liking, and sharing the, the YouTube uh, video we make. And especially do not hesitate to subscribe to your YouTube channel as well. Uh, thank you very much. And I hope to see you very soon. Goodbye.